Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be going over a momentum algorithm for cryptocurrencies and it will route the orders to Coinbase Pro. So I screen recorded a recent trade I made last night using this algorithm. So let's take a look at that clip. All right, so here we have a couple of seconds before it makes a decision. So let's go ahead and play the clip. So here the algorithm has actually kicked in and we see that we've submitted an order and our order got filled at 59.885. Now I was able to close this order overnight, but due to the fees, I actually lost a couple of cents on this trade. So in another future video, I'll try to make an algorithm that takes into account these fees so we can get a more realistic sense of the trades and our profit and loss. But for now, I'll just go over this algorithm so that you have something to work with in case you have your own strategy. At least you'll have the skeleton for the algorithm in order to buy and sell using this API. So let's go to our script. All right, so we have two scripts in order for this algorithm to work. One will be the main script, which has all the instructions. And the second script will just contain the functions in order to make this possible. So we start off in the main script and we're going to source all the functions. Since I'm trading hourly intervals, I have specified the time in force equal to 60, which will just create a sequence of times for when this algo to start. So if we go ahead and run that line and we take a look at TMZ or times, we have a 24 hour range for when this algorithm should start. So the very first timestamp should be the next bar to trade. So if we take a look at our current system time, it is currently 1246. So it's gonna start in approximately 15 minutes if we were to actually run this script. If it breaks for whatever reason, you can just run the following line and this should take care of all the timestamps that have already passed. So it should pick up the very next bar. So let me minimize this. So in this scan block, we source our functions every time just so that they're within the scope. So if we source that, we have the functions readily available. After we source in our functions, we calculate momentum. So if we run the following line and we take a look at that data frame, we will see hourly intervals, the current momentum for all the four cryptocurrencies, our current equity returns, and the sequence number. If you recall in the previous video, the sequence number just lets us know which one of these cryptocurrencies has the highest momentum at that given bar. And we're gonna use this sequence to place orders. So if we go back to our script, after we calculate the momentum, I'm gonna pass that in. We're gonna specify our fiat currency, which just tells Coinbase Pro what fiat you wanna use. And I think they have USD, uh, the British pound and the Euro and the fiat to invest. So I wanna invest $50 in this case, and this will actually place the order. So after these two lines are done running, we will just print out the last couple of observations for the momentum. So if we run that, here we see that the latest specifies Ethereum as having the highest momentum out of the four. So let me minimize this. After we get the printout, we will set the system to sleep until the very next bar. So let's minimize this. So if I actually wanted to start this algorithm, I would just run these two lines. And if we take a look at our console, it says that we will now sleep for approximately seven minutes and we will start at 1 p.m. local time. So I'm gonna go ahead and cancel this. I'm gonna minimize this. So if we take a look at our functions, here we require all the packages that we might need. This is commented out, but I'll go ahead and leave that uncommented so that you can specify your API key, your passphrase, and your API secret key. Here we will specify what fiat currency we want to trade along with the coins with the highest momentum. So here we have LINK, ETC, XLM, and ETH. I'm also going to get my account summary at every bar along with the size limits. And I'm going to calculate the time difference between your local time and UTC time in order for us to keep things consistent with the timestamps. So if we scroll up here, we see a function to get real time bars. So you won't be actually calling these wrappers directly because these two functions are used within the get momentum or get momo function here. But just to give you a summary, this get latest crypto bars gets the most up to date crypto bars from Coinbase Pro. And all we're passing through are our keys, the cryptocurrency and the interval. And within this function, we call get start, which just returns a timestamp in order for us to get exactly 300 bars of data. So if we open up our get momo function, here we pass in our coins or cryptocurrencies. I'm gonna use L apply and pass in all the cryptocurrencies to get the latest bars. And I'm just returning the closing price. 
and I'm also going to merge these all together. I'm going to replace the dot close header in the column names with empty spaces so that we just have the cryptocurrency name. Since my interval is 900, which is 15 minutes, I'm going to go ahead and calculate the momentum for the past 60 bars. And I'm going to round that to four decimal places. In this following line, I create a sequence of times, which specifies that I want to trade every hour. I'm going to subset my momentum and my price series using that index so that we have the same number of rows. So for every row, I'm going to calculate which of the four cryptocurrencies has the highest momentum. And I'm going to return that as the sequence. And this next line just returns the percentage returns for each of the assets at the hourly interval. So this block will use the sequence number to extract the cryptocurrency with the highest momentum and calculate its return. I'm going to format the column names. I'm going to extract the row sums so that we actually have just one equity curve instead of the four cryptocurrencies and their individual price returns at each bar. And finally, I'm just going to combine the momentum, our equity curve and the sequence. So I'll go ahead and minimize this function. So after we calculate the momentum, I'm going to pass that into crypto to trade. And here you will see that I'm just comparing the last two observations for the sequence. So if they differ, I'm going to go ahead and place the trade while also checking that we have enough to buy the cryptocurrency in our account and also checking if we need to close out any positions or if the asset actually exists, it won't place another trade. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this function. And the last three functions are just helper functions. So the very first one will just get the best bid in the ask so that we have the most up to date price when submitting orders. Our get TMZ or get times function will calculate a 24 hour range of when the algorithm should start. And the sleep function will just ensure we put the system to sleep until the very next bar, whether it be seconds, minutes or hours. So this concludes the video, guys. As I previously mentioned, I won't actually use this to trade. But at least you have a skeleton to work with if you have your own strategy that you want to apply and send orders to Coinbase Pro using this API. So let me know what you guys think. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.